Uh, Article 10, the Church Street Force Main. Okay, um, here we go. As be considered to be read as written and move it for approval. Or, excuse me, recommendation. Yep. The Budget Committee. Second from Mr. Jones. I will be happy to speak about it. I will second that, Mr. Thank you, Jones. Jones. <laughs> Chris, you, you know the question. Why? Are we not just funding for the design so that we can produce a hard number? Well, the funding for the design actually comes out of my budget this year. I have 40000 in that we traditionally have in our the budget, our normal operating budget. I have a sewer access fee where people contribute money, uh, a capitalization improvement. Uh, we encumbered all that money so the engineering portion of this design work is being done currently um, the last set of plans I think I saw were six I know I saw were 60 percent it's actually up to review at the state um, we're advertising because it's a federally funded project again under the SRF loan mm -hmm. uh, process um, so all that is proceeding forward so to be clear none of the design and engineering work is being funded with this Warren article, is that correct? Correct. It is yeah. the construction, the construction administration. Okay, so it's only for construction. The right. construction administration. Well, they're close yes. together, yeah. Right. So, the last time you were here, you gave us a number that was not a hard number. In a minute, yeah. And is this now considered a hard number? Yes. It's absolutely that number? Yes. Minus three or four dollars. <laughs> Our goal is to have bid documents in hand for when we go to the meeting, but it's up at the state. It's getting reviewed. You know, this number is the engineer's estimate that includes what we need to have built. So, so this is subject to change then. The litter session is what you're saying? based on the bid? Still on the schedule, I just wasn't at that last meeting. Yeah, I mean, you, you could, we could change it at the Lillard session, but I don't. Um, well, we'll have bids by then, so we'll be able we'll to have change. what? We'll have bids by then, you said. I right? think we actually, we may have the bid back, or it still may be out. It depends on when the state gives us, this is another one of those. Chicken or the egg, what's yeah. going to come first, the meeting or the? Right. I mean, your our meeting is set as, what, February 4th? So, yes. February 4th. Yes. So what do you need from the state in order to get a valid bid? Perfect. Okay, I need from the state, I need from the U.S. Army Corps permission because I'm within a federally jurisdictional wetlands. I need the New Hampshire Wetlands Bureau to buy in. Um, I need from the New Hampshire Department of Transportation an easement to be in there right away. Uh -huh. And we're actually putting up a bridge parallel to the bridge that you see there today. But what I don't understand is those are basically all approvement, approvals shouldn't affect the bidding process with the exception the that work there's is unchanged by those approval processes with the exception right? there's one document out right now that we're still waiting to get back and it is for us to review tomorrow I think you said 1 30 mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah which is the project report which is basically all the design elements and details okay. that have been submitted to the state the state has given their first round of comments back on our design intent it's basically a design right. intent report we will go through read their comments, read our engineers' comments, and if any of those things changes, those can change or tweak the documents, which could cause them to need to be revised before we go out to bid. So it, it, that's why they're 60% drawings and not 100% drawings. Well, that's why I was asking, I think you said just a few minutes ago that you expected to have bids by delivery session, right? We were hoping we, we to. We were hoping to have them. And are you still hoping? Hoping. Hoping. As hoping. long as our friends in Concord... <laughs> It's an interesting word. Eh? Don't we all have hope, right. yeah. It, as long There's as a lot of move, pieces that have to fall into Should play. I expect it? Is this another probability question? It's a probability yeah. question. Yeah. It's no, called I wouldn't the power bet on of it. positive thinking. Well, I'm not asking about bet, but would you expect it? Would you expect oh, it? I, I expect yeah, it's yeah. going to be out to bid. Will I actually have those bids? Uh -huh. I, I can't guarantee that. And the reason being is because it's state and federal money. So when there are expect, so many days that I have to have this open. When, for. when do you expect this to uh, make yeah. the bid request? You're dealing with the state. No, I'm dealing with him making the bid request. You know, I could. I'm expecting that I'll have a bid number and can average state it in the papers in a press release prior to the actual vote in March. But 
mm. for the February deliberative that it's it's, it's not getting too tight, yeah. not way too happen. tight. Right. So th then we're definitely not going to see any corrections. Then let me take back my statement. I don't think we're going to have the bid numbers by um, the February meeting. So therefore, so this, this is the number. So how did we give birth to this particular number? This it's number guess, is right? no, no, it's no, not a guess. It's there again. It's the <coughs> same people that did my Lafayette Road number. There are certain things like when we started this project, and they picked something closer to four million. We didn't have the borings done yet. We hadn't had this nice discussion with the Department of Transportation about whether we could attach pipes to their bridge mm -hmm. or not. Because if we could have suspended them off the bridge, we'd have had one price when they basically told us no. Yeah. We knew then that we had to have our own mini bridge yeah. uh, to the right side. Um, we've <coughs> further refined the actual size of the pipes themselves, refined the number of manholes the number of uh, air release valves I need, inspection ports. We've clarified how we're going to get from Route 101 to Tide Mill Road, <coughs> down close to the lodge. It, initial reaction was we were going to go down in, I forget the name, Bechtel Court? Is that the name? Bartell. Bartell. Bechtel's an engineering company. We were going to go down Bartell Court, come to find out now we've saved a couple hundred feet of pipe. We're going to go yeah. on the God, east side of the St. James Lodge. We are working out with them the actual easement language. So, so that's another one of those pieces that's still... What I understand, and you know, Rick Slugman Griffin has been pretty adamant in his position on this. He doesn't think it is an emergency. And I don't think anyone in town thinks that we presently have an emergency. There's a concern that if we do have an emergency in the summertime, it's going to be really terrible, and I think many people share that, probably a strong majority of people, I would imagine. Um, and then there's the other concern about the state putting pressure on us to move forward, right? right? And I wanted to ask, because their, their basic statement is, we want to see you making forward progress, right. right? And the work that you've just described that you're doing is demonstrative of forward progress, isn't it? It is. So the passing of this Warren article itself does not is not necessary to demonstrate forward progress to the state. In fact, you could look at it a different way and say, you know, if we had a harder number, we'd improve the chances of passing the warrant on it, wouldn't we? And so if we waited a year, how much, but this is say we put the warrant article out next year. And I'm not advocating, I'm asking, okay? Well, if we put it out next year, how much would that delay the actual final construction? Because now you're going to have all your ducks in a row and ready to go, right? It would delay the financial construction, and probably um, you would need to increase the budget because you'd miss this year's construction window costs. So, for instance, we're using, that's uh, in round numbers, 2,000 feet away. <coughs> we're using two 16-inch pipes, 2,000 feet long. If the price of plastics controlled by foreign markets and, and because it's an oil-based product go up you've just shot your budget you've lost it yeah. the re what the state's focused on and kind of what well not kind of what I'm focused on is the risk side there is a probability that can be assigned to the you know would it fail or wouldn't it fail you know, you love those. But you're not going to go into probability. But, right? but the probability, what I look at is the risk side. I look at $2 billion to $3 billion worth of property on a spur of land adjacent to the Atlantic Ocean. I look at, you know, I, I get letters this past week from a, a woman who implores yeah, me. Yeah, we, we, we discussed the... the, 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 the the risk being realized is the right. enormous cost to the town on many levels right. and the whole town. Right. And that is that is stipulated by me without any explanation at all. I'm just having a hard time uh, swallowing this when I don't have a hard number. You know? Here's and the I'm other thinking, thing. Well, though. can we get to a hard number without without uh, hurting ourselves? If you were That's talking about delaying this to 18, well, I understand this is an SRF loan. It'll take us till almost October to get this thing done and in the ground. Right. The actual books won't be closed.
until you're into the fiscal 18 year. So the tax impact. So right now you're scheduled to have this project done October of next year? Yes. October of 17. Right. So if we if we put this warrant out, not 2017, we put it out 2018, it wouldn't occur until the same October 2018 now instead of 2017, right? Mm -hmm. So it would actually be a delay. We're not gaining anything except more certainty on a number. And the number is not that much of a variance from what I'm seeing. I mean. You did come in with uh, three point something and uh, earlier, and now you're at four point two, right. and Another that's not number. moving. You're pretty confident with that number. Yes, it might be high. It probably won't be low. I know you don't like the word probability, but Jennifer doesn't mind. So well, Jennifer, I'll ask you. <laughs> <laughs> One more point that I have to make. This is the same engineering firm and the same loan process that we did the Church Street project with, and there we asked the voters for four point three million. I think in the end we actually Under. spent. 2.6 to yeah. 2.8 million. I'll we didn't tell you, actually. I, I, I understand all that, Chris. And I'll tell you, you know, I'm having a hard time going with this. My inclination is to go with this. I'm going to let my fellow budget committee members, I'm going to shut up so I can listen to them. Maybe I can be convinced more certainly one way or the other. But right now, I'm inclined to support it. May I ask a question? Well, sure. Who just referred to, which I was going to ask early, at the last meeting, we talked about 3.2 million. Mm -hmm. And it came in a million dollars that they just found out like the day, very shortly beforehand. If I didn't remember <coughs> the day before the morning, whatever, something of that nature. So that gives me a little concern in reference to 3.2 jumps to 4.2, and now we're at 4.2. Following your train of thought, this is a concern. Nobody knows one way or the other. Right. It could be 5.2. I'll make a 6.2 for the sake of just throwing devil's advocate out there. But we also asked the last time, what happens if the Warren article doesn't pass? And we talked about a contingency plan. We fixed it before. It was a pain. It was three weeks after. It probably cost about, I don't know, $300,000 to fix it. Yep. Maybe. But if it didn't, I'm making this up. And, mm -hmm. and the voters go this way, then you still need to put a contingency plan in place. Whatever pipes you need, and you have to prepare a little better. Because the last time they caught off guard, obviously, right. who wouldn't? That's not a criticism, sir. Mm -hmm. No, I understand. So I, I would feel comfortable in the whole process and waiting a year. But if we had a good contingency plan, in, then if something did go, which we don't want to go and it may not go, we would be better on top of it. Is that in, in somewhere in process? Because we did chat about it the last time. We do have contingencies, and, and Jennifer can more of them than certainly I did. Um, the, the Yankee in me hates the contingencies, and I'll tell you why. I, revetment stone that we just talked about for $180,000 we're going to put in front of the seawall. We actually get to use that revetment stone in 18 and, and 19 whenever we repair the seawall. So it isn't money that's, what's that adage, you buy a boat and then you keep throwing the money into it. That's the thing, I really wasn't fond about this, this repair. Um, it was 120000 to build a road, 10000 to re actually repair the pipe. Yeah, but, but what does it get us? It got us a year, okay. One of the bypass options is to actually lay pipe, like you were talking about, along 101, um, across the bridge, down Tide Mill Road, into some manhole. Um, it's like $180,000. But guess what? It's worthless come this time of year. Mm -hmm. So talk about opening up your wallet and throwing money into a boat. Mm -hmm. The Yankee in me is like, that doesn't sound too smart. Plus, then we'd have a real problem, and we'd real still have to be facing the, the money that we're asking to face now. So you'd be throwing money out the window and still having to do this. It, it'd almost be like a... The Yankee in me is it's like being hit on both sides. Of the and that is when you say the Yankee in you, you mean the New England Yankee, not the New York Yankee. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank you for that clarification. That's uh, and I think it's important that that really goes to the contingency plan. There isn't a contingency plan. There could be five or six different scenarios that happen, and we have to have a different contingency plan, not the same one we went yeah. through last year. I mean, you, you I don't know think you'll be stuck if it busts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bob. What would have been the difference had that rupture occurred during the summer Thank you. and not in the off-season? The difference would have been a way to shut it down. We need both 
pipes, both hoses, if you will, on a daily basis. There would have been ha had to been some type of restriction on water usage, i.e., toilet usage, flushing, to have us stay so that we weren't um, exceeding the, the capacity of the plant. The pump station has a finite capacity. Right now, it'll, yeah. it'll only pump about 3,000 gallons a day for us, 3,000 gallons a The problem is that spit of land generates upwards to 2 million gallons a day. It's, there's not enough hours in the day for the pump station to run. Plus, the other thing is it comes in at times faster than the pump station could actually handle it. Now, you say, okay, well, with a combination of one pipe, put a truck down there and get, you know. I figured it out one time. It would take 147 tractor-trailer rigs to empty all the effluent on a daily basis off the beach. So let's say I had one pipe and I only needed a 60 tractor trailer rigs. Can you imagine 60 tractor trailer rigs down Church Street and Ocean Boulevard? I just, and, and, and someone else made the comment, I didn't, it'll, it'll put a black eye on us on, as a beach community, as a five-star beach community for a period of 10 years if, if, if something like that were to happen. So, in effect, would we lose the beach for the summer if that happened? As a practical, uh, we can't hear you very well. Yeah, I, I may have to go to the state and say, yeah, your bathhouses are closed down. I mean, but to be honest with you, I don't have that authority. The only person that does is the building inspector slash health officer, and so mm -hmm. I'm glad I'm not him. <laughs> Theoretically, it could come to a point where he had no option, right? I'm sure he'd have to discuss it with the Board of Selectmen, and yeah, he'd have to come to some option. And if that were to happen, would it be reasonable to say there'd be a gazillion applications for abatement of real estate taxes on the beach because you've just lost the summer? That is a possibility. Mm -hmm. I have one other kind of question. There is some piping work going on down there now. What exactly is that? That is... Um, Fair point. Yeah, they're they're burying uh, uh, telephone conduit. If you were heading out of town on uh, Church Street 101, you'll notice where the channel gets real close. There's a couple of telephone cabinets leaning out into the marsh, and, and literally suspended wires. That's their uh, infrastructure that is no longer functional. So they're putting it all underground and, and burying it. Good. Further questions? Are you ready? Fiscal impact, please. Oh. Four point two Say again. One point two eight five. One dollar. Twenty eight cents. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty eight and a half cents. Yeah. <laughs> Dollar twenty nine, basically, 29. per thousand. Thank you, Christy. Okay. Anything for any further comments, questions, discussions on this particular article? So, on a three hundred thousand dollar house, that's like a yes. couple over three hundred bucks a year. Yeah. Oh. For what's the financing period on this? It's just flat out the cost. There's no financing at all, right? So one year, one year shot, right? Well, it's SRF no. after SRF the first long. year. It'll be a bond. It'll be a period. Okay, so you're giving me the, the fiscal impact, not of the bond, but of the total project. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. This will go into that's debt. Not, that's not accurate, though, is it? No. This will so, go into debt service. Right. Can we get a better sense, I mean, of what the annual cost is going to be to the taxpayer? She'd have to figure out the interest on the bond. Yeah. We can't we do that yet. get from bonding once we have the actual project cost from bonding, they'll give us an When will we have that? After the Warren article's passed? Well, once they try for the bond. Yeah, it's going to change at any time. It's because the market's so volatile. But we, so, can get, we can get those at any time. We well, I'm concerned. You, I mean, what are you going to put on the warrant? People are going to see a dollar twenty-eight on the wallet on the warrant. They're going to be going to get a little panicky, you know. But I believe on a bond warrant article, you would not put the dollar twenty-eight. Right. Mm -hmm. So. There will be a fiscal impact statement, though, right? Not until 18. And no. That's what I want to know, what, what's going to be the fiscal impact I statement. Get that for you. I Excellent. Don't have that 
Excellent. But don't we need that now? Yeah, I, I, well, well I, I think no. I need, need that and in the sense that uh, it makes me less comfortable. Uh, and if we vote on it now, um, we won't be able to vote on it again unless someone in the public brings it up at the public hearing. This is going to be broken up into a 20 year right. bond. 30. It's going to be 30? Okay. So it'll be spread. So the tax impact isn't going to hit all at once. I know. I'd love to see that thinning up is what I'm asking yes. for right now yes. before I cast my vote. But yes. I think Dave is suggesting the same thing, isn't you, Dave? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay. vote. All right. Time, because time, uh, I'd, I'd rather hold my vote off until I hear that, the, the real fiscal impact, frankly. Well, that's, that's my own, uh, you're not divide by 20.03. 30.03. Is a guess. So I guess we're going to get an interest-free bond. Is what you think? Well, you're going to get a bond floated in. I know we won't. That's why a simple division won't cut it. Okay. Well, you don't want me for division. Are you in? F are you ready for a vote? Yep. A yes vote would be to recommend this to the public hearing on January 12th. In favor. Okay, uh, Bridal, Barnes, Kravitz, Henderson, Pluff, what are you doing? I am uncomfortably in favor. Okay, uh, Jones, <laughs> Augustine, and Ladd. Opposed? Okay, Mara, what are you doing? What are you doing? I voted in favor. You voted in favor. Did I not? I might, I might not have mentioned his name. Yes. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Uh, Pierce and Lapham and Mara and Wolsey. Okay. Make sure we got everybody there. 